Hey everybody, Magic Hour Movie Man here with a special guest, my friend Marie. Hello. And uh, this is a video I've been thinking about doing for a while. I've been talking to Marie about this for a while. Um, I did the manly movie reviews early on on my channel. If you haven't seen those videos, you can find them on my channel where I reviewed manly movies, guy films. And I was thinking of doing the opposite of that, which would be kind of what some people might call chick flicks. But uh, I enjoy all genres. I'm a man of many tastes. Well, there's one you don't really like. Yes, I need to do a separate video about musicals at some point. But anyway, that'll be another video. Um, but uh, So I'm going to call this Sensitive Cinema. And it's going to touch on a, different, uh, a few different categories that we've worked out uh, to kind of hit the spectrum. But these are movies... Uh, that, at least as far as what I, the movies I'm going to pick, that I feel like anybody might enjoy. Um, and kind of the challenge I put forth to Marie uh, was to pick five films from different categories, and I would pick five films. And we'd kind of see how they matched up. We'll talk a little bit about each film, why we like them, why we think they're good movies. I should mention, if you hear some heavy breathing, um, Marie's dog, Louie, is in the room. And what kind of dog is Louie? He's trying to bark right now. Louie's an infant. I don't know if you can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> he wants attention, so. If you hear heavy breathing or raspy barking, that's what that is. It's Louie. I've got big fat Shirley. She's got gigantic Louie. Um, so I'll give you a rundown on the categories we're going to be talking about. Romantic comedy is the first category. Romantic drama is the second category. Period drama is the third category. And then classic comedy or drama, some film that's before 1960, I think was the stipulation, that could be considered a classic that still might be considered you know, more sensitive cinema. And then a fifth is just a wild card, just we can come up with our own criteria for why we picked the movie, but it's all going to be something that a genre that some people might consider more female oriented. If that's. Yeah. Hope that's not offensive. No. Nope. But that's the deal. So, uh, we'll reve reveal our picks uh, one after the other. I will let the lady go first. Okay. So, your pick for romantic comedy When Harry Met Sally. <laughs> there you go. I mean. Anything you want to say about it? <sighs> Well, basically, I think it's probably, in my opinion, the best romantic comedy made, ever made. I mean, I know that's a big statement, but I think it was the original romantic comedy, and I think a lot of the stuff that came out in the 90s and after that never really quite measured up to it. There's a lot of really formulaic stuff out there now that's not doesn't really quite have the wit and the cool story that that one has, so... Perfect. That means I get to reveal my pick. I actually have titles to show. Um, and we didn't talk about this ahead of time, right? That's right. Yeah, that's another thing. We haven't. We don't know each other's picks. So <laughs> my pick for romantic comedy is When Harry Met Sally as well. I think we both knew that was going to be our picks, though. I mean, we've talked about this movie before. And most people agree this is one of the best romantic comedies ever made. Uh, some people might pick Annie Hall. I could see that as well. Um, I'm not as big a Woody Allen fan as a lot of people. I do respect a lot of his films and like them. But uh, When Harry Met Sally, I just enjoy quite a bit for the same, same reasons uh, you spoke about. And uh, pour a little Chardonnay out for Nora Ephron. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to well. bring things down. That was a, yeah. So that's that the romantic it, yeah. comedy picks. Mm -hmm. So far, we're even. Yeah. The next pick is romantic drama. Okay, this, this is, is where things switch up. Oh, yeah, this is going to probably, mine's probably going to be, it's not good, we're not going to match. Okay, so I thought about it, and I thought about a lot of the really big romantic dramas, and I picked one that I don't know if many people would think of, but it's one of my all-time favorite movies. 
closer. Oh, that's a good pick. Okay, and the reason is that, um, okay, I liked pretty much every scene in this movie, and I actually call it the gladiator effect. I don't know if I, I think we've talked about it. Okay. We're like, because like Gladiator to me is a movie where every scene has something interesting, and that's how I kind of felt about this one. Um, I love Julia Roberts being sort of not Julia Roberts. She's got a couple of um, nasty things she says, and just she just does a couple of things that you wouldn't expect from her. Um, and I'm a big Jude Law fan. I like a lot of the stuff he's in. I'm a big Clive Owen fan. And I figured that, you know, for dudes who don't, who don't, who don't like Jude Law, Julia Roberts, or Clive Owen, Natalie Portman does, you know, get undressed and stripped down and does sort lap dance. Sort of, kind of. Kind of. I mean, not like, you know, the full Monty, but I mean, she does take her clothes off. And so if that would be another reason, maybe, that dude would want to see it. But I really like it. It's based on a play by Patrick Marber, I think is his last name. Anyway, so the dialogue's kind of staccato and strange. I mean, it's different than most movies, but I really like that, and it's very dark. So, you have to be in the mood for something really dark. But, anyway, that's my pick. That's a good pick. So. That's a good pick. Yay. So, my pick for romantic drama, make sure I got the right one here, yeah, is Once. Mm. Uh, that's a great movie if you've never seen it. Um, uh, I forget their names, but anyway, it's a uh, the guy's a musician, hooks up with a girl who uh, uh, is also a musician, and they make music together in more than one way. Oh. Oh. That was yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Woo! We'll <laughs> insert the sound of crickets here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it's just a good romantic film. I'm not sure what to say about it. The soundtrack is fantastic for this mm -hmm. as well. Good yes. music. Um... And I like the the feel of the movie. It, it's very almost documentary feeling mm -hmm. the way it's shot. Um, put that closer in case you need to see closer. Closer. Which was your? What? Oh, it so comes weird. around. <laughs> so, and evidently we like uh, one word titles. Closer yes. and once. There you go. That's a really good pick. I like that. Thank you. I liked your pick as well. Oh yay. <laughs> By the way, her boyfriend is a good friend of mine, so don't yeah. get any ideas. Yeah. You either. <laughs> Laughed a little too hard there. <laughs> All right, our next pick is classic. Uh, again, something before 1960 that would be considered a classic that might be considered more of like sensitive cinema rather than a guy film. So your pick for classic. Okay, so I have two... Is that okay? That's a cheat. That's, I'm sorry. Okay, then I'll just pick one of the two, and then maybe later I can tell you what the other one was. This is highly irregular, but I will allow it. Well, I went with a traditional one with Casablanca. Be Casablanca. Casablanca. Sure. Um, just because I really thought it was that good. It is. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, like all that stuff. People like, oh, people go, oh, this is the best movie ever. Well, it really is sort of one of the best, in my opinion. Um, and I love the, I just love that whole idea of, you know, she walks back into this cafe years and years later and their lives have sort of moved in different directions and there's still that passion and, I mean, it's just classic, like, literally, it's just a classic <laughs> story, yeah. you know, yeah. um, and that whole, I don't want to spoil the ending, you know, but I like the ending and she's a dude. It's no, that's not the ending. Really good ending. Um, no, but yeah, it's just I I just I love I just love everything about the two of them together, and it's just yeah, really that good. So that was like the first one that came to my mind. Can I say the other one? Just you may. You may. another bogey one. To have and have not was my other pick, and I couldn't. Good. Oh, my, oh that's okay. a thumbs up. That's, I didn't know if that good. was maybe his yeah. pick. Okay, but anyway, that's and that actually really quickly. I only watched because I read, I found Lauren McCall's, one of her books, autobiographical books, at a flea market for three bucks or, or I don't know, a dollar, whatever, and read it and loved it and got into their story and got kind of invested in their story, and that's when I rented it, and it has that classic line, of course, that you I can't remember whistle. a word for, there you go. Put your lips together and blow. Yes, that one. She's freaking hot in that movie. Uh, <laughs> like eight, I think she's 18 or 19. All right, so I was going to reveal my classic pick. 
so do your own drum roll at home. Uh, of course, it is Megaforce. Uh, I've got this on VHS, and as a romantic classic, I'm joking, Megaforce is not my classic thing. Uh, although I will talk about this movie at some point. I just wanted to... That was that was sincere shock. Like I said, we have not talked about this. And I was like, oh no, awesome. I have to pretend like I. Uh...